I'm a decent boy just landed from the town of Ballyfad. I want a situation and I want it very bad. I've seen employment advertised, it's just the thing, says I. But the dirty spalpeen ended with no Irish need apply. Ah, says I, but that's an insult, though to get the job I'll try. So I went to see this blackguard with his no Irish need apply. Some may think it a misfortune to be christened Pat or Dan, but to me it is an honour to be called an Irish man. Well, I started out to find the place I got it very soon There I found the old lad seated He was reading the Tribune I told him what I came for When he in a rage did fly No, says he, you are a paddy And no Irish need apply Then me dander started rising And I'd like to black his eye But I cooled it down and asked him Why no Irish need apply? Some may think it a misfortune to be christened Pat or Dan, but to me it is an honour to be called an Irish man. And says I to him, your ancestors came over here like me To try and make a living in this land of liberty They were greeted here with dignity and taught to reap and sow By the Indians who own this land, they didn't tell you no But I'll get a job in spite of you, for I've willing heart and hand Thank God there's better men than you all over this great land some may think it's a misfortune to be christened Pat or Dan, but to me it is an honour to be called an Irish man. And they say that in America it always is the plan that an Irish man is just as good as any other man. A home and hospitality they never will deny to strangers here or ever say no Irish need apply. But there's some bad apples here and there, a dirty lot, says I, and a decent man will never write no Irish need apply. Some may think it a misfortune to be christened Pat or Dan, but to me it is.